Hey guys, I wanted to do a video on some of the differences between palm oil and coconut oil. There's been a lot of attention on coconut oil, but not a lot on palm oil. Now, palm oil has gotten a bad rap because what's happening in the environment. So you want to make sure you get something that's eco-friendly, uh, sustainable. But this talk is not necessarily on that uh, piece of the puzzle. It's mainly on the health benefits of palm oil. In fact, there's no other crop that can yield as much oil per acre as palm. And it absorbs fewer pesticides and chemical fertilizer than coconut oil and corn oil and soy oil. So it does have its advantages. Now, the majority of saturated fat in palm oil is called palmitic. It's 44%, okay? And palmitic acid also has gotten a bad rap from some of the studies. So mainly these studies, if not all the studies, are done on refined, isolated palmitic acid, which does not come in nature. Very, very few, if any of the studies were done on actual palm oil itself. Now, I do want to put three links down below of some pretty hardcore, credible studies that show that saturated fats are not dangerous, especially compared to unsaturated fats. So I'll put those down below and you can check them out. Now, palmitic acid can be used for energy by the body. Coconut oil is nine times lower palmitic acid, but it's very high in lauric acid, which then turns into monolaurin, which is really good for the immune system. It's antiviral, antimicrobial. Now, there are many other types of fatty acids in coconuts that actually have additional health benefits. And a good portion of coconut oil is medium chain fatty acids, which are really good to increase energy and also help you make ketones. Now, what's interesting about palm oil is that it's very, very high in vitamin E, okay? Now, vitamin E in nature always comes in a complex. And the other half of the vitamin E complex are composed of compounds called tocotrienols. And I recently purchased this book called Tocotrienols, Vitamin E Beyond Tocopherols. It's a mouthful. But this book shows you all the amazing research of the vitamin E complex. It says right here, vitamin E is a collective name for a family of fat-soluble compounds. So it has a lot of different things in it. Tocotrienols move more freely and more efficiently within the cell membranes than do tocopherols, especially in tissues with saturated fatty layers, such as the brain and the liver. Now, typically when people get vitamin E from the health food store, they don't realize they're getting a synthetic version of vitamin E in only one little tiny fraction of the vitamin E complex, um, tocopherol. Okay, they're not getting the whole complex. So I'm just gonna summarize what's in this book right here because the benefits of taking vitamin E in the whole complex are huge. Anti-cancer, anti-tumor, neuroprotective, it counters radiation damage. That's incredible. Uh, actually, there's benefits of regrowing your hair. And that's why I'm going to be putting this ingredient in my hair formula as well uh, very soon. I mean, vitamin E is one of the main antioxidants that protects the inside of your arteries from oxidative damage. So it's quite incredible. So palm oil has one of the highest sources of the vitamin E complex. And palm oil also has vitamin A. Now, it, it's true that it is a pre-vitamin A. It's a beta carotene and alpha carotene. But some of that does convert into retinol, which is the active form. Um, certain cultures in Africa, for example, that have a high risk of going blind are consuming palm oil and getting improvement with eyesight because one cause of blindness is a vitamin A deficiency. And it also has quite a few phytonutrients, one called the phytosterols, which are the precursors to steroid hormones, okay? So like cortisol, for example, is a steroid hormone to help fight stress. Here's a really good source of palm oil right here, red palm oil, loaded with vitamin A and vitamin E, okay? You can check it out right here. This is what it looks like right here. Looks pretty healthy. Now, I know some of you are gonna ask in the comment section, how much vitamin E in vitamin A is in coconut oil? And the answer is close to zero, okay? It, I think there's like 0.001%. There's not much at all. So coconut oil has its benefits, uh, but palm oil has some additional benefits that um, I wanted to increase your awareness of. But just make sure that if you're, you're gonna buy some, make sure it's sustainable, eco-friendly. All right, guys, thanks for watching. So I want to thank you for being here and watching my videos. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do so so you can stay informed 
of future videos.